Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you all for clicking. This is episode 21 on a four bedroom house that we are putting up for Madam Lisa and the husband Mr. London. Okay, so let's dive into the video and let's see what he has installed. All right, so this is an estimate we prepared for putting up the structure. Apparently, we are done with putting up the entire structure, the roof trusses, everything, which cost us $55,772.92. So, this estimate is completed. This is the second estimate which I prepared. And this um, comprises of plastering, you know, a whole lot of work. Sometimes I even get tired trying to explain. But then, I will explain it as was the movie, uh, the video plays along. Okay, yes, we're going to do landscaping, plumbing work, air conditioning work, electrical piping, um, front and back patio extension, okay, fence wall plastering, the main house inside and outside rooftop, you know, coping, we have to do pla uh, dressing of the coping and then doing of the fence wall coping, there's a whole lot to be done and yes, and you're going to see that through the entire video. This is a design a concept from Madame Lisa and was designed by Jonathan. Jonathan is my architect. In case you need any of the designs, please contact Jonathan. If you need a surveyor, if you want to get a permit, please contact Jonathan, not me. Okay? For me, I build houses. I prepare estimates. That's all I do. So if you need any drawing or any permit or any surveyor, contact Jonathan. All right, so putting up this storeroom, electrical room, and the platform was part of the estimate. Uh, the estimate was very intense. Within the shortest possible time, I needed to come up with the estimate so we can move because there's no break in this particular property. It's work, 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 work. So there you have Mr. Samuel Edu, my fine carpenter, assisting with the lentil casting. So these two rooms are going to serve two purposes only. One for the electrical, because we want to do a solar system. So it's going to house the batteries and the distribution boards. Okay. And then the other one is going to serve as a storeroom where she's going to house any tools that she's going to be using on whatever um, um, farming that she wants to do on the compound. And then we have polytank platform. Okay, and this platform is created to house two 5,000 liters. You understand? Two 5,000 liters. So basically, that is what we're doing. In case you need a land, please contact Madame Lisa. Send her an email. Okay, the email is there, the bodleys in Ghana at gmail.com, and she will assist you. You can equally go on the YouTube space, um, the, bodleys journey, uh, the bodleys journey to Ghana on the YouTube and subscribe to the channel okay and see her daily post and drop your comment subscribe and send an email like i said in case you need a land contact madam lisa for that purposes all right i am the type that i'm very reserved and i believe in leadership okay yes they always say that you see your character will be tested and once you're able to move beyond the test it shows your credibility and leadership ability are you with me your faith will be tested your character will be tested so in the midst of adversity how well are you able to control yourself that is true leadership in the midst of adversity how are you able to control yourself and that's where i find myself okay this is a design from um the kitchen design guy okay so this is exactly how madam lisa wants her kitchen to be so this is a 3d um animation to show how her kitchen layout is going to be it looks beautiful i'm pretty sure she's done some slight changes i'm i'm much sure but they will all show up at the end of the day when the kitchen setup is done and we will see everything live and colored 
and see how best the kitchen cabinet guy also did okay yes everything inclusive the kitchen uh, the countertop and all of that are you with me i believe she's also went around a stone depot mirror mirror uh, mirror marble to find out all the prices that there is to know okay and then she she, she would decide on what is best for her in the meantime we had to wait for the roofing sheet in fact there were some slight delays um, from the manufacturing aspect but then finally we got the roofing sheet this is from kk pepra okay i use kk pepra because this is where i have my quality and i'm i'm sure of whatever you are putting on the roof if it's 4.5 it's 4.5 i don't want to put myself in trouble where some people will come and put 0 0.35 when you have paid for 0 0.45 no we don't go that way so this is deep ocean the color of this roofing shade is deep ocean now deep ocean has its own category okay they don't have 3.35 in deep ocean in deep ocean it's only 0.4 and 0.45 so that makes it unique so when you come and somebody puts 0.35 on your roofing okay on your house you should know that hey since it's not a deep ocean and it's at a different color like cottage green or uh, red, the red color or the wine color you can have 0 0.35 but with a deep ocean you have 0.4 and 0.45 are you with me yes yeah, so they cannot cheat you in that area so finally because of the span of the roof getting a vehicle was was a challenge so um, Boateng kept on trying kept on trying kept on trying until finally he got this truck that was able to bring the roofing sheet to the site okay so that's Boateng in the verse okay a very nice gentleman who is determined for greatness okay so this is Madame Lisa's and Mr. Landis's house it looks beautiful I like it uh, yes I just like the fact that I was part of the process okay i was part of the process so those are the roofing sheets lay down they have to carry it up there and start working on the roofing sheets okay now in this particular area like i said in my last video building here is is a type that if you're not careful you will embarrass yourself the ground level is soft especially where madame lisa find herself if she had moved a little bit up on the hill it would have been great but then she chose that portion it's not a bad area but it is soft so whatever we do has to go deeper now the fence wall we did we didn't use five inches we used six inches okay i know people are preparing a fence wall estimate and they are making it so cheap fine but the question you have to ask most people don't ask questions they only look at the last figure how much is the fence wall estimate i am using six inches and six inches i buy my eight ghana cities are you with me it's a complete query dust we use our dpm we use waterproof chemical are you with me yes and then our digging of the trenches we don't dig 1.5 feet no it's 2.5 we dig 2.5 because that is the depth we want to achieve 2.5 feet for the fence wall because of the area in which we are building so that once i'm done i'm done whether there's hurricane or there's tsunami madame katrine or sister katrine or brother 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 katrine your fence wall is still standing and there are various types of fence wall that we have to put up whether you want a block pillars or you want iron rod pillars all these play a role so first wall estimate is not five thousand or two thousand depending on what you want we will prepare estimate for you so if you watch madame lisa's house there's enough investment there's a lot of cement work there there's a lot all right now this is bought in this is what we call the hidden roof the hidden roof have been done so neatly we have to cut those edges and and then position the roofing sheet in there and then the masons will come and you know do the touches over there to hide it so this is one of the cheapest way of doing a hidden roof where you don't have to do rain gutters all around
because doing rain gutters all around is going to cost you iron rods, balls, labor for the carpenter, for the steelworks, and for the masons. That's a lot of money when going into complete 360 rain gutter. But when you do it this way and it is done correctly by the professionals, you don't have leakages, it is cheaper, it is nice also, you understand? So Boatin did perfectly. This is a long span self-lock aluminum sheet from KK Pepra. And Mr. Boatin is the guy that I vouch for on my channel and you can utilize him for whatever purpose, especially for your roofing sheet. This is beautiful. You see the, the F trim, the side trim, everything done neatly. So beautiful. When it rains, there are no leakages. In fact, right after the roofing sheet, it rained. I think about a week after. And it was a good timing. Okay. It rained heavily. So we checked. My carpenter checked. Mr. Samaladu checked it. There were no leakages. Everything was perfect. Man, it was it was heartbreaking. I was so much impressed because I paid so much attention. I was really on Mr. Boatin. Need to cap the wall properly, make sure the roofing sheet goes into the wall, and then they, they flash it up. They did everything perfect. You understand? They did everything. And earlier on, you saw him pouring water on the roofing sheet because he wanted to check the slope. And Mr. Samaledu did a perfect job with the roof trusses. Okay, he got the slope right, right from the top all the way down. Are you with me? Yes. So all we are going to do is just put a garter at the edge. That's all. Isn't this beautiful? And then she has a rooftop on the left-hand side and then the roof actually on the right-hand side. This is beautiful. So one way or the other, she's been able to have a building such that she can go to the rooftop and have some fresh air, stay up there and have a lot of fun. You know, catch the breeze, see who is coming from afar. They can see everything. They can see everywhere. <laughs> they can see just like a castle. You can see everywhere. If you turn yourself 360, wherever the person is coming from, you can see the person. You understand? So Boatin did a perfect job right here. And I'm so glad. You know, there's one thing about me. There are some artisans that I brought on this particular project whom actually have not even worked on my project yet. But because of their qualities and for the quality I'm looking for, I don't want to leave here and having been to call back and say, oh, you guys didn't fix this. You have to come and fix it back. No. So that's brought in for you. Okay. Everything has to be done because everybody is taking money for what they are doing. And once you take your money and you go and I have to call you back, sometimes it becomes difficult. By that time, you, you've, you've spent all the money. And calling you back will seem as though someone is being, you know, kind of, uh, you know, trying to pull your legs. But no, you have to do that job and do it right. And that is how it has always been my motto that when you pay more, you get it done once. You pay less, you get it done twice. Are you with me? So I have put in so much work. I have been on the toes of everyone behind the scenes i'm calling this person go do a quality job for me i'll be coming your way with episode 22 where you'll see the continuation of the work that we've done so far with madam lisa okay if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe there's a bell icon there hit the, the bell icon and keep us on post notification so that whenever i drop a video you will be the first to be notified from me to you, shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.